What's going on, Clan AD here? Welcome back to more of the Blood Prince, a Dark Eye vampire whose mission is to conquer the world. In the previous episode, we've been getting assaulted over here at Castle Blood non-stop. We've got raids all the time from the cultists, and we are sending one of our squads over to deal with them once and for all. The Grinder Squad uh, has Silent, Malcolm, Hazard, Red Maid, a couple other people. And they are on the move here, trying to make their way over to the cultist village uh, to see if we can stop these raids. Meanwhile, we got Demon Babe and Timothor, Benno, and their group headed north. We're going to see what kind of trouble they can get into. We're going to check out some of the places over here in the north. Dark Fingers, Sinken. See what's going on up in there. Then the Blood Prince is outside of the, uh, the, armor, uh, the armor king's... Uh, place. He's gonna see if maybe he can steal from the Armor King. I doubt he's gonna be able to uh, to win a battle against him, but um, it'll be exciting to see. And then at Castle Blood, we are crafting uh, some stuff. As you can see, Maggie just made a cape. So we got some other things going on here. That actually looks really cool, that fur cape. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get Get some more crafting done. If you want to see more Kenshi in the future? Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes coming out. So as you guys know, I've been playing some Phantom Brigade here and there. I'm going to be playing that, you know, in between Kenshi. So Kenshi's not going anywhere. But uh, I do want to play some other stuff periodically so I don't get burned out on Kenshi. Because that does happen. As you guys have noticed, it happens more often when I run into a bunch of problems. And so... I was running into an issue, yes, uh, last episode that I didn't show you guys, that basically Kaizo, along with UWE, Universal Wasteland Expansion, was adding all of these, like, all of these different camps all over the place, and, like, my game wouldn't even load. Like, I couldn't even load uh, at a certain point. I just, it just stopped loading. I don't know. It... I think it's just too much for the game engine to handle. So I got rid of Kaizo, and we're just going to play with Universal Wasteland Expansion for right now and see how that goes. And if if UWE ends up becoming a pain in the ass, then we'll just get rid of that and just, and just use Kaizo or something. I don't know. Um, but I think having multiple mods like that just changes too much of the game, and it just, like, makes everything worse, so... Uh, anyway, I've got Mr. Jack fin uh, finishing up on the research. I added Pixel over here to help Carmen with some food crafting. So Pixel's got a lot of the wheat straw uh, going in here to the grain silo. And Carmen's just making food cubes as many as she can. And I filled up a lot of our troughs here with rice bowls so we can keep Prince Yolo and our minions hung uh, fed. And King Mong will definitely need some more food here shortly. Uh, but he's still getting his blood up. T-Lord is still making our sandbags over here. So we've got our uh, quite a few more sandbags to make. And then we'll be done with this spot. Really wish I could figure out on import like how it positions the squads. I've noticed that it just always puts... Like, the, the squads that I had at the top uh, on the far left, it always puts those at the... And the far right when I import for some reason. I don't know why, but I end up having to drag these guys up. And it's just kind of annoying <laughs> every time I import. Of course, after I got rid of Kaizo, I had to import the game just to make sure there's no issues. The grinders are moving in on the cult village. They're getting pretty close. Actually, they see it right there in the distance. So we'll probably just have them move in and see if we can take out this cult leader. Because we're just getting attacked constantly. And as you guys know, we took out the uh, cult leader previously, but we didn't actually get a chance to recruit him. So it actually um, reset the, the flag, and so he's got to take him out again. All right, cultists, prepare to meet your maker. <laughs> May the moons bless you. May the moons destroy you. Crush them all, guys. There you go. Take no prisoners. I don't even think we're going to take this cultist leader back. We're just going to destroy him. He's not worthy. 
There you go, Hazard. Hazard has literally masterwork. He's got a specialist grade bassinet. Oh, I gotta get a masterwork grade of that. And a turtleneck. But yeah, I mean, he's just... He's got really good armor. There was another... Uh, you guys were saying something about someone else having a Mito class weapon. Like a sickle or something. Um, try and keep an eye on that. I just... It's so hard to see with all the blood and everything. Just keep an eye and see if anybody has a special weapon. This guy didn't even know what was going on. Let's get inside, take out the the leader here. Where is he? What the hell? Whoa, he's like a mechanical hive. That's crazy. Alright, where's the preacher at? We must have killed him already. I don't know. I don't know where he is. Alright, well, take them all down. I mean, if they don't have a leader, then... How are they attacking us so much? Take him out, Brotex. Okay, uh, hmm. Silent, why don't you come over here and see... See if we missed anyone. We literally killed everybody in here. I mean, there's... Got a couple of people up front. Let's take them out. I've upgraded Silent's weapon to a hold saber. Hey, they got some tequila. Tequila! Standard cocoa tea. Alright, well, I don't know what to do here. We, we killed everybody. Actual number of residents, 26. I mean... Anybody still alive? Yeah, this guy's alive. Kill him. This guy's playing dead. Yeah, he's down. Okay, well, they're they're they gotta be dead. Now oh, we got a beak thing over here eating them. All right. Hopefully that uh, that'll keep them from attacking us. Okay, let's have the grinders move north. And they're going to cross the water here and head up to these ruins in the Howler Maze. Meanwhile, we got the Hellhounds over here by the Black Dog HQ. I think this is a good place to uh, attack. Get this lock picked. Well done. See how many people are inside. <laughs> Not that many. Ooh, they got a couple bone dogs here. Okay, who's the leader? His, his name is probably Black Dog, right? Yep, there he is. Black Dog. He's got... Oh, he's pretty strong, so maybe we can recruit him. Alright, let's try and keep an eye on him. Try and make sure we don't kill him. <laughs> Take him out, boys. Using our indoor weapons here. For the most part. 
Yeah, we'll keep an eye on Black Dog. And there's a prison cage, so we can throw him in, in prison and then recruit him. <laughs> Maybe we'll do one-on-one -on -one with him? Let's take a look here. Um, let's see. We'll send in... Damn, we got everybody super strong. Uh, Lord said, why don't you do the honors? Benno's kind of stuck there. Alright, you do the honors, Lord said. Everybody else go on hold. Have a nice little duel here. Don't take that, Lord said. There you go. Oh! Two strikes is all it took. Well done. Okay, let's take his weapon. Let's first aid him. And let's get kidnap him. Throw him in a cage. Get him get him on board. Momentarily. Okay, the grinders are gonna swim across the ocean. This is gonna take them a minute. Before we recruit Black Dog, let's go ahead and loot the area. Demon Babe, why don't you do the honors? We got a Crab Raider tournament coming in. In about 12 hours, we'll have to keep an eye on. I've renamed Black Dog to Yankee, another subscriber. So welcome aboard, man. Let's get you out of there. Set you free. There we go. All right. And you got pretty decent stats in the 70s, 50s. Really good. Okay. Uh, let's finish looking through all of these chests and see what else we can find. Might as well take this guy's hold saber while you're at it. <laughs> We've got a flame burge weapon. This is pretty interesting. 20% damage to humans. Maybe we'll give that to Yankee. It's a little bit different than uh, what we used before. Oh, wow, we got a claymore. This is a saber. Specialist grade pants. And some sandwiches. Let's have Yankee come down and grab this. Yeah, maybe we'll give him that weapon. It looks like it's a little bit better. And he's got specialist grade cloth pants. Which are... A little bit better, I think. Got a sleeping bag. I always forget to bring those. <laughs> One of these black dogs actually wear... Like chest pieces. It's kind of interesting. Alright, we'll have to get him some armor a little bit later. There's nothing else in here that I noticed. So, I think we'll just get out of here. Well, we won't have to worry about the black dogs attacking us. Meanwhile, the Blood Prince is over here headed towards the Armor King. Would be nice to recruit the Armor King. Let's just see how badly... How bad this is going to be here. These Armor King Thralls are really good. Insane stats. There's probably how many are in here. I wonder if I could do a little stealth action though. And steal, steal from him first. Let's just take a quick peek. See if we can do some stealth. Might be able to get in and do a little stealing. Maybe not. I might be able to knock them all out, though. Let me try that. Oh, this guy... This guy saw me. Oh, that was weird. These guys have masterwork grade everything. I'm gonna just take all their stuff. Throw it on the ground. There we go. Take all their weapons. That way they're not... They're no longer a threat to me. As much. They probably have really good martial arts. Yep, they do. Damn. But still... We're gonna just try and knock them all out. 
And if we take their armor, at least that'll be a little bit better than the armor king is up here. Eesh. Pretty sure I knocked that one out. There we go. Take his equipment. Okay, get out of there. Ooh, they almost see me. Go, go, go. Wait, who's this guy? Oh, we got a skeleton over here picking up one of the thralls. What is he doing? Oh, he's running away with him. <laughs> That's awesome. He's literally running away. I'm not really a fan of the long cleavers. I don't really care. Okay. Let's knock this guy out. Oh! Ouch. Okay, damn. He hit me. Or he saw me. Okay, uh, that's the armor thing. Armor King's thrall. Let's get right inside. Let's see if we can just go right up here and knock him out. Oh, I failed. Uh oh. Get out of there. Get out of there. Go, go, go. There's too many of them. <laughs> that was so close. Uh, enemy hunt moving towards Castle Blood. Get out of there. Damn, if I could just. Oh, shit. These things are hitting me underwater. Oh, they just knocked me out. Well, let me put my armor back on and see if I can actually... not uh, take out a few. At least I'll get my skill up a little bit with the blood prints. Alright, bring it on. Jeez, they hit hard. Go, 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 go. Alright, yeah, there's no way I can... I'm gonna be able to do that. Okay. Our only option is to somehow sneak in there... ...and knock him out. Okay, the Blood Prince is up here. Oh, wolf headgear. That looks kind of neat. Alright, let's just see if we can loot whatever... ...masterwork grade and so forth. Come on, don't get seen. Samurai armor, master grade. Razor, saber, edge type 1. We can craft that, though. Unholy breastplate colored alternative master grade. Inhuman cleaver, edge type 1. Holy. Dude, I'm taking that. That looks sweet. Pretty sure we have the unholy breastplates. Not really. This wolf headgear is kind of interesting. Might take that. I gotta get to this safe. There we go. Samurai armor colored, master grade, mercenary plate, master work. Damn. Where's all the good armor? Oh, maybe over here in this chest. Nothing that good. Um, hmm. Sand skirt. Alright, we'll take that. That's part of one of my new mods that I got. All right, where is the Armor King, then? Oh, there he is. We need to see if we can knock him out. It's going to be challenging. Ooh, get back, get back, get back. Those things see you, like... All right, just try to knock him out. Go, go, go. One hit. Oh, oh that didn't work. Get out of there, get out of there. Go, go, go. Get out of there. Holy shit. Wow. I could not even move. Okay. <laughs> Guess they don't care that I'm right here. Oh. Somebody picked me up. You gonna just throw me outside or what? Yeah, he's just gonna throw me outside, huh? Okay. No big deal. Doesn't look like they took anything. Gonna try again really fast just to see if I can maybe take his weapon. Alright, there he is up there. Try and knock him out one more time. Oh, I think we got him. It didn't. Oh, it says rebooting. Hold on. Come on, go down. Alright, let me put the armor back on. It says we got him, man. There we go. He's got an edge type 3 falling sudden. I have a. 
my toe class. This actually isn't as good as the one I have. All right, yeah, whatever. We'll leave him, leave him with it. Let him take it or keep it. We're not gonna take him prisoner because we could always come back later and we could maybe because uh, he restocks, so we could probably get better gear from him later and steal it again if we want. Oh, there's a rusted ruin up here to the north. We'll check that out. Okay, the grinders have made it over here uh, to the Howler Maze. There's some ruins to the northeast. We're going to check these out. Uh, might be a good place to rest and kind of recover from the acid rain damage. Let's go in this outpost and see what's in here. Bunch of crabs. All right, take them out. <laughs> okay, let's see what else is in the other building here. Okay, this building is empty. There's a couple books here that we can take. There's also a house. Let's see what's in this building. Oh, more crabs. Oh. Nice, canoe. Got a lot of dogs out, out here. We also have this um, crab raid. Oh, it's actually, I think, might be happening right now. Everybody get out here, do your thing. Let's take a look here. Crab Raid is kind of stuck on the outskirts. We also have a uh, Sheck party coming in. So we'll have to deal with that shortly. Tons of bone dogs out here. Oh, Silent is down. Lovecraft, why don't you uh, rescue her? I gave Silent some different armor than what she was using since Genesis removed it. And unfortunately, Demon Babe lost her epic armor that she was wearing, that Masterwork Grade Bandit armor or something. Demon Bandit armor? I don't know, it looked cool as hell. Wish I could figure out... Yeah, it was like spiked... Some spiked armor or something. Wish I could figure out what mod that had that. Okay, let's get everybody inside. Here we go. Close the door. And uh, let's just kind of hang out in here. There we go. Yeah, we'll hang in here. Kind of rest up. Blood Prince is fighting a uh, skeleton. Scavenger. Nicely done. Fragment circle. Oh, I'll take your uh, skeleton repair kit, if you don't mind. Blood Prince has arrived outside of this ruin. We've got um, River Raptors. Who the heck lives here? <laughs> I have no idea. Wait, I see a guy. Skeletons. Uh, just a skeleton faction, I guess. There's a pacifier over here, mechanical hive. Oh, I can't talk to him. Interesting. Alright, well, we'll leave these guys for now. It would actually be fun to recruit Maul and uh, some of her people. If we recruit Maul, um... See, Holy Nation is gonna take over. They're gonna take over the north. I always seem to ally with Maul, though, in my playthroughs, so I think it'd be kind of interesting to take her out and recruit her in this one, instead of allying with the Flotsam ninjas. And if we can't recruit her, maybe we'll recruit her captains or something. Yeah, see, this is the problem I've been running into, is that with Universal Wasteland expansion, I guess it basically, I don't know, I get into this loading phase where I can't, like, it doesn't load, it doesn't work. Like, I'm stuck here trying to load this, ce this scene, uh, this map. And 
it just won't do it for some reason. Um, let me turn off fast zone hopping and maybe that'll help. I don't know. I'm just stuck. If I switch back to another squad. Like, I can, I can move them. It still says loading. Yeah, like, I, I can't move the blood prints. I'm stuck over here for some reason. Like, I have to save and reload or something. I don't know. It's like, I'm trying to keep this series alive, but I just... I don't know, man. I keep running into this kind of stuff where it's just like, you know, wasting my time. Ugh. <sighs> All right, I've uh, reloaded the game, and now it's loaded, so we'll see how turning off fast zone hopping, we'll see if that fixes the issue. Um, if I keep running into that loading problem, then I might, we might have to get rid of uh, Universal Wasteland expansion. Let's go ahead and pay a visit to these cannibal hunters. Kick their ass. <laughs> Good lord. Keep getting stun locked to hell. Take out the crossbowmen, because they're preventing you from doing anything over here. There you go. Land a swing on them. There you go. Take them down. That's better. Oh, yeah. They're hitting their own people, too. Hits. There you go. I feel like uh, the Blood Prince was doing better with the pole arm than the heavy weapon, to be honest. But uh, we're probably not going to have that pole arm anytime soon. Um. Since it looks like we we lost it uh, from taking out Malza, I think uh, I don't know if Malza's still there. I think she's probably gonna be gone. Right, I want to check out this winged beak ogre lair. Wait a minute, what the hell am I fighting? What is that? What the heck? What the hell? Holy! Winged Beak Ogre Elder? Jesus! We've got to recruit this! Holy crap! Wow! These things are gonna straight up eat me. Wow! Is there a lair or am I... This is just where they live? Yeah, I guess they just live right there. Huh. I kind of want to come back and recruit one. <laughs> Holy hell. Home territory aggression. We've got a cult attack again moving towards Castle Blood. Like, how do we get rid of these attacks? Because this is getting really annoying. Like, it's non-stop. It's literally every day there's an attack from the same people. Like, I can't get anything done if I keep getting attacked. And I can't turn that shit off, either. I really wish they would have had, like, faction, um... 
allowing faction attacks to be turned off in the game settings because I can't... I really can't focus on other stuff when I'm getting attacked constantly at the base. And there's no way to turn it... Like, there's no way to prevent it. Even if you, we took out all the cultists, they're still coming. Uh, let me go back there. Let me just see if I can take one of these down and I'll throw one in a cage. They got a little a couple baby baby ones too. Let's see. Yeah, this one's an elder. Let's see if I can take out one of the elders. Oh, we've got the, the holy nation is over here. Take out the holy nation, they can help me out. These weak <laughs> these winged beaks. Who's this guy? An outlaw. Nice. Nice job, outlaw. Wait a minute. Whoa! Got it. more of them coming in. There you go. These guys are really easy, the uh, crossbowmen. Outlaws having trouble though. Okay, looks like we took them out. Let's see, what do they have on them? Just raw meat and stuff. All right, let's pick one up. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna drop down a cage. Maybe I can recruit it. <laughs> All right, get in there. Oh yeah, it looks like I can talk to it. I'm just gonna name him Beaky. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Okay, uh... Getting him out of here is gonna be a challenge. I'm just gonna have him run. I guess run south. I wanna take him north, cause definitely probably gonna die up there. We've got the Hellhounds running uh, to the north, or kinda near the eye right now. We're gonna have them kind of swing to the northeast over here. Yeah, there's an old village. A couple other things we can check out. We've got a skin harvest moving towards Castle Blood. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no way we can defend against that. We're toast. Well, it looks like Beaky's gonna die. <laughs> Fighting some... Some spiders. Oh, yeah. That's eh, a shame. We've got skin bandits coming in. This is not good. We also have crabs. As well. Um... Yeah, the crabs aren't going to get close. P-Lord's doing a good job with the sandbags. Um, Alright, so the, the skin bandits might... Okay, if they come in at the same time as the cultists, we might have a chance here, because that could actually really help us. Like, they might be here right at the same time, hopefully, if the skin bandits hurry the hell up. I'm gonna send T Lord down here. We've got Blofeld and Pixel on turrets, uh, on the secondary turrets, so we might get more people up there as well. I don't know. We gotta, we're gonna have to keep a couple people down below for fighting. Actually, I'm gonna just send T Lord back. They're too far down to check, and I want to make sure everybody's inside. This is gonna. I don't know if we're going to survive this. 
We might have to activate King Mong here. Yeah, this is just getting a little bit crazy because I just can't seem to get any objectives done. With all of this. Okay, here comes the crabs right now. That's fine. I'm not I'm not really worried about the crabs. Really, I just want yeah. If we have all of these guys, this is going to be a big battle going on really really soon. All of the crabs and Hey, you got We got 100 guardians over here. Just we got a 100 guardian attack. Yeah. What are these guys just chilling? They're literally just gonna, gonna die. They they tried to swim through the acid. What idiots! <laughs> yeah, they're they're toast. Well, we're definitely gonna get Prince Yolo out here. All right, somebody pick up King Mong because I have a feeling this is gonna be nasty. And we'll put King Mong out here. Uh, cult attack has arrived. Okay, get indoors. Let's see, where's the rest of the Cobras? Mr. Jack is... Not really doing anything anymore. Alright, get out front. Eile, Rai, where are you guys? Oh, you're on the stone processor. Alright, that's fine. Get off your jobs for now. I'm gonna need you out here. And let's see, the cultists haven't started coming through yet, right? Okay, so what I wanna do is wait. Uh, I don't wanna go further up here and select my people. I'm gonna wait until the uh, skin bandits come, and then we'll see if they can fight each other. Okay, well, we've got, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Where's the skin bandits at? Holy shit. Okay, that's a lot of cultists. Where's the, the skin bandits should be here somewhere. We got some crabs. And oh, are these skin bandits? Okay, here's the skin bandits. So, I don't know if they are going to fight each other or what. Alright, here they come. It's the war leader. Uh, let's see. Can we just shoot at these people? Alright, here they come. Down the funnel. Open fire. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, we're gonna have to close the gates here. Alright, do what you can. Just unload on as many people as possible here. There you go. Wounding quite a few. These guys have got to have really good turrets. Is 66. It's like free practice. All right, we're gonna have to focus fire now on the guys on the gate. Make sure we take them down. It'd be really cool if you could set, like, firing arcs so that you could just say, I want anybody to shoot at, like, this area in particular. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many coming at the gate now. Alright, keep firing, focus fire. 
Take them down right here. Oh, jeez. They're going to break this gate down so fast. We're knocking down quite a few. We're hitting a lot of them. There you go. Ice volleys. Keep the volleys coming. All right, how many people are getting through? Anybody? Alright, already got people knocking down the gates. Pixel. Take them out or what? Let's get Prince Yolo up here. Take him out. Come on, Steven. Okay, more are coming in now. King Mong is taking them out as they come uh, come off the shore. Shoreline. Here we go. Minions fighting back now. Good job. All right. Taking a look back here. Still a lot. What are they f breaking down over here? Oh, they're attacking my defensive tower. Uh-oh. How did they get over there? Oh, we gotta prevent that. Yeah, we gotta have to put some some sandbags there. All right. Shoot all these people. Take them out. There you go. Don't let them survive. Okay. More of them coming in. Jeez. Okay, both our minions are down. King Bong is furious. We got... Oh, there's a lot going on here. Right, don't let them get through the gates. Attack all here, guys. Rai, get up there. All right, Rai, Mr. Jack, and Eilie will have to be the last line of defense here. Hopefully, Blofeld. Yeah, Blofeld and Pixel are firing. Nothing Prince Yolo and Steven can't handle here. All right, good. Oh, there's Biggins. I totally forgot about you, man. My bad. Wow, there's so many. Okay, acid damage is doing a little bit of work. It still looks like the skin bandits aren't coming in yet, which is really becoming a problem for us. Alright, well, the turrets are just going to do whatever they can here. Just attack all. Shoot at whatever you can. We'll focus on uh, this area over here because this is where it's important. Can't let anybody get through. Okay, Mr. Jack, heal yourself, man. Oh, Agnew. There you are. Get off your job. We're going to need you up here. And Beep as well. <laughs> Our minions are bleeding out. T-Lord, I'm going to need you to get over there. If you can heal them a little bit. Steven is down? How? How did they take Steven down? Alright, Prince Yolo. Get over here, man. How are we doing on the gate? Ah, damn it. Come back. Oh, what? What? Uh... Okay, that was weird. <laughs> uh, let's see, Agnew, can you repair the gate? Let's get that gate repaired a little bit. God, there's so many over here at the gates. Um, maybe Prince Yolo up here. King Bong is doing what he can, but... Let's see, T-Lord... T-Lord's unconscious. Wow. All right, Prince Yolo is going to go down soon. There's just too, too many of them over there. We got a couple glitching through the gates. Um, 
Yeah, we're just gonna have to keep them here. Wow. I, I can't believe how many there are. There's still there's still so many. Without Kaizo installed, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. Okay, here's the skin bandits now attacking. Good god. Okay, they're taking taking some prisoners. How many skin bandits are there? Is that all of them? Yes, yeah, so we got people um, knocking down our walls and everything. They're like stuck inside. Right, well, just keep doing your thing, turrets. Do as much damage as you can to these guys. Look at that. Holy crap, man. More, more people coming in. Okay, uh, let's see. T-Lord. T-Lord should be getting back up soon. King Mong. Still going strong here. Uh, same with Prince Yolo, but he's about to go down soon. Let's see, we've got quite a few people that have slipped through the gates, but we've taken them out. Uh, I don't think there's anybody else that's broken through yet. Door, con uh, door condition is good. So we are kind of defending here as they break through. But man, we got to do something again uh, with Prince Yolo. Bong is doing some damage. I mean, he's definitely surviving. I just wish I could get his blood higher. Like, it just takes so long to get his blood back up. Okay, Prince Yolo is about to go down. There you go. Good hits over there. Good hits. Just keep it up. Keep it up. Turret gunners are still firing. And whatever they can. Give me a nice volley right here. Okay, Prince Yolo needs help. Damn. I don't want to open the gates because then we're gonna have We're gonna have an issue here with people running through. Okay, the cult attack is ended. Alright, good. Let's have them run back and hopefully fight the uh, skin bandits as they on their way out. How's Steven doing? And I can't even select. Okay, Steven's gonna need some help here. Ugh, Prince Yolo's down. Hold on, I gotta go into the gameplay settings. So I've got squad size multiplier at two, but I've got the town raid event size at four. I need to turn that down to probably like two. It's just way too crazy, way too laggy. I have town attacks set to never, and you can see how frequent we get attacked just by um, the factions. And so yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. All right, Prince Yolo's bleeding out. Let's go ahead and open the gates. Hold on, Rye, kill this guy. Let's go ahead and open the gates and uh, kill them all. Okay, and we'll close the gates. Make sure nobody slips through. I think we're good there, okay. Somebody's carrying Prince Yolo, I think. Okay, Steven needs help here, so I need Agnew. Can you heal Steven? Do repairs on Steven. There you go, Rai. Crush these people. Somebody's got T Lord and Mr. Jack. Jesus, Big In is. Big In's is fighting. Five on one here, trying to defend. God, can we get some damage on here? Come on, Eily. Not much Eily can do either. Good lord. Come on, I got, I got two people on the turrets up here. Pixel and Blofeld. I need you guys to freaking. I 
Annihilate these dudes. Come on. Don't let them escape. There you go. Don't let them escape. King Bong, take them out. There you go. Free up Eile. Let's free up Mr. Jack over here. Let him get away. There you go. Beep. Beep is back up. Get this guy that has biggins. Let's get biggins back in the fight. Rai is still fighting over here in the corner. Come on, Rai. Give me a... Oh, nice swings. Nice swings, dude. Took out his arm. There's so many of them. It's just that uh, King Mong needs to do more damage. He's only doing like 40s to 50s. Like, if he was doing 100 damage a hit, he'd be so much stronger. Alright, get out of the water. First of all, we need a first aid. Let's medic up here, guys. Medic up. King Mong, take this guy out. There you go. Nice. Oh, Biggins is down. Okay, do we uh, repair Steven? Steven definitely needs some help here. Come on, guys. Get up, Eileen. Heal yourself. Let's do some repairs on Steven. We can't lose him because he's pretty freaking strong. There you go. Get some repairs. Heal up. Mr. Jack should be fine. King Mong is going after him. Get out of there. Let's stay back. Okay, good. Let's heal up here. Rai, why don't you heal King Mong? Heal his blood. There we go. Alright, uh, looks like we've... Kind of finishing off everyone here. Yeah, I probably need to get uh, these two turrets built. See if I can get two more people on turrets. Definitely help out. I mean, it's just free target practice at this point. <laughs> but yeah, I might have to get rid of Universal Wasteland expansion and just play with Kaizo because... They just add, it adds way too much. Like, it's just, the uh, the non-stop attacks is just becoming really annoying. Get this guy that's got T-Lord, there you go. Okay, we're gonna get everybody inside. Looks like Beaky did survive that encounter that she had. Alright, well we'll send her over here to the safe house for now. Blood Prince is about ready to wreak havoc on the Flotsam Ninjas. Let's go see what kind of damage we can do over here. Dude looks like a porcupine. Alright, bring it on. Okay, one down. Oh man. Blood Prince is not taking any prisoners. Get up there, take out the turret. Whoa. There you go. Don't let him get on the turret. Oh. Nice hit. There you go. Oh, man. Here they all come now. Uh oh. Oh, I just chopped out the lady's arm and took her down. Just need to land one swing. Alright, come on. There you go. Holy crap! Blood Prince is on a rampage over here. That charge attack is really sweet. Well done. I don't know where Maul is. Is that her? No.
Ooh, okay, taking a beating here. Get out of there. All right, get out of there. Retreat. Got to heal up here. Retreat back a little bit. Get away from those turrets that were kind of interrupting us. Oh, nice. Oh, I glitched through the wall. <laughs> Yeah, if I was doing as much damage as I was before, jeez, I would have destroyed everyone already. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. And as you land hits, you basically make everybody weaker, too. Like, everybody's stats gets lowered uh, as you land hits on them. So they're, you kind of, uh, even wounding people makes a difference. Like, that guy's arm's all messed up. <laughs> There you go, land some swings. These guys are pretty good. Who am I fighting here? 90, uh, Jonin Elite. 90, holy, oh, I'm almost down, jeez. Okay, run, don't get hit, don't get hit. Oh, that was so close. I almost got him. Okay, let's run over here and heal. These guys are super strong, damn. It's a bloodbath over here at the HQ. Okay, we gotta take out this... Yeah, there we go. Take out these stronger opponents. Here we go. Take out that Jonin Elite. Here we are. A couple of them are wounded here. Oh, there you go. Come on. So many. There you go. We start dwindling their numbers a little bit. I wonder if they have any blueprints in here. We've got cannibal hunters in here now. Joining the party. Alright, where's Maul at? Probably just killed Maul and don't even realize it. I don't even see her in here. Okay, well, there's Knife. Killed Knife. Uh, there's Molly. That's not her. The hell is Maul? Oh, there she is. Okay, we need to kidnap Maul. Take her. Alright. Maul is down. There you go. Take them all out. They got this dude. Let's take a look. What does Maul have? Masterwork grade. Everything. Alright, first aider. She's got a robotic limb? Oh, that's cool. Alright, we'll kidnap Maul. Kill everybody else that stands in our way. Let's go into the... Uh, the shop over here and see if they have any blueprints. They do have some blueprints here, but we already know everything. Let's see if I can use one of their cages to recruit her. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I can. Hold on, let me take out these people. I'm gonna talk to her, recruit her. Alright, I got Maul to join us. Here I am protecting her. All right, let's pick up Maul and get out of here with her. Let's, wait a minute, let's see. There's nothing to loot in here, is there? The faction HQ. Any goodies? Yeah, there might be. All right, let's get out of here. We'll take Maul with us. And we'll actually send Maul down south to kind of like recuperate. I don't want her with the Blood Prince when he goes north. All right, Maul can hang out here with Beaky. I'll uh, heal Beaky as well. He can kind of rest. All right, well, in the next episode, the Blood Prince is going to continue his journey northwest. we got to get all the way up to the uh, Leviathan Slayer Tower. Let's see if we can get that cool weapon. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode want to see more Kenshi in the future, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time. Take care.